in every movie role he's had, from Dances with Wolves to The Last of the Mohicans to Avatar. He brings depth and authenticity to the characters he plays, changing the way audiences see Native Americans. Legendary actor Wes Studi. I'm Maria Hinojosa. This is One on One. Wes, you've been involved in so many projects, um, things that are very, very dear to you, but tell us what is the project that kind of has your heart right now? What are you working on that's special? It's actually very special to me in that uh, we're uh, putting together a budget for a film that uh, is close to my heart and is actually, yeah, something that uh, is uh, really heartfelt for us. But it's a, a film entitled uh, The Cherokee Word for Water. <laughs> Uh, and it's actually um, the uh. story, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, about uh, one of the, actually the first Native American woman to be a principal chief of a, a large tribe like the Cherokee, uh, and her name was Wilma Mankiller. Now, Wilma uh, is was such a force in life that she not only affected what happened within Cherokee Nation, but She's known internationally. You know, she died, unfortunately, this past spring, and she had letters and messages from all around the world, all around, leaders from all around because the world. Because there's a huge indigenous community also around the world that indigenous, is watching like, someone like Wilma Indigenous as Mankiller. well as, uh, you know, non-indigenous people. Mm -hmm. She had an effect everywhere. Uh, many of her friends, like uh, the women's movement, like Gloria Steinem and... Uh, and people who had, uh, who have, and continue to have effect on on uh, our, our social life today. So, do you think that this movie will be seen? Is the idea to make this another Hollywood blockbuster, hopefully, about someone who is hugely important in our country, Wilma Mankiller? Is that your dream? Well, it certainly is going to. It's, st it's going to start out as an independent film, and we have a script that we all can work with, and. What happens when you begin to make a film is that it becomes a birthing process. A birthing and, and a, a, a process of growing into whatever it's going to be, right? It's just like a, a human being being born. But uh, the venue, uh, I can't speak to, especially if it's going to hit uh, theaters and if it's going to hit get uh, distribution, but uh, one of the things that I have thought about throughout my life is that, or in this business, is that do we make a film like this for the theaters wherein mm -hmm. only a, a limited number of people will see it? I, I don't care if it is in the millions still. Uh, as far as uh, what happens is that in the theaters, uh, a number of people will see it, but if it gets onto the, the television screen, mm -hmm. I think more and more people are going to have the opportunity to see it. Uh, without having to pay 10, 12 bucks to uh, go into a theater. But uh, it's, uh, I think, one of those decisions that uh, we as filmmakers have to make is that are we going for blockbuster or do we really want to reach the people? Mm -hmm. 